Hello and welcome to Hornbill TV. I'm your host Akivito. The government of Nagaland on September 27th issued a new standard operating procedure permitting students to resume physical classes for students of classes 5 to 10 from October 1st. Most of the schools reopened today. Hornbill TV spoke with few school principals and students regarding their opinion on schools reopening, whether teachers are vaccinated or not and how they are maintaining the SOPs. Let us get more details from reporter Kekhrisene Okkewo. At uh, Godwin Higher Secondary School and just a few days ago, after almost a year of waiting, the government has already allowed classes 5 and above to resume their classes as uh, usual again. And they've allowed 50% sitting capacity for the students. And right now, as I've already said, we're here at Godwin Higher Secondary School and we will get to know how they are maintaining their SOPs and also if all the teachers are vaccinated and how the classes will be going about with the 50% capacity. Let us get to know more details from the management and the teachers. So, uh, sir, now that classes have already started for also class 5 and above, how are you maintaining the SOPs? As per the norms given by the government, we are trying to follow as much as much possible. Like say at the gate, we are uh, doing thermal testing for all the students. And after that, again, uh, sanitizer is there for everybody, all the students, they sanitize. Every morning we are sanitizing the classrooms before class is, real class starts. How about the vaccination of the teachers? Are all the teachers here vaccinated? Uh, most of the teachers are vac vaccinated. One or two teachers, because of some sickness, because of that doctor's advice, they have not taken. But they will also take very soon. They are not coming to. Uh, we are not allowing those teachers to attend classes. So, how do you feel? Uh, you know, like classes resuming again. It feels great because uh, online class. It's like we cannot focus much on online class, and we get to learn more like offline what is the turn up of the students today for the government schools the order has not been issued yet the private schools have been given a permit already and for government schools we're awaiting the students coming right now are from class 11 and 12 only even if they have a slight cough and fever we ask them to stay away maintenance of SOPs as far as possible we are trying and COVID is something that we can't really predict how much careful we, we can be. Na? But it has been advised and taught properly to the students to maintain their own uh, safety measures. And I think the best and only safe thing that we can really do is to ensure we wear a mask at all times. Uh, after a gap of more than one year, classes has resumed for you, like a few days ago. So how do you feel? This pandemic caused a lot of problems to us. Like, we can't able to catch up with our lessons and like that, but like as the classes resume, yeah, the class is going well mm -hmm. and we're trying to best and we maintain our social distance, like we have our sanitizer here, mm -hmm. like we should learn more in offline classes mm -hmm. and online, through online, most of them used to give their tennis and like play games, etc. Mm -hmm. uh, but due to uh, offline, we used to learn more. So uh, we have another student with us, so we'll ask her, you know, how do you feel coming back to classes after a gap of more than one year? Um, it's very difficult to ask to catch up the mm -hmm. teachers. We learn more mm -hmm. in offline classes. OK, OK. So uh, we, we got to know from uh, the teachers and the students of both uh, Godwin Higher Secondary School and Government Higher Secondary School, Chumukidima, that they are very happy that the classes have has resumed. And also, they're also keeping in mind and maintaining the SOPs. And when it comes to the vaccination of the teachers, they have stated that uh, most of the teachers have, has been vaccinated, but there were a few, a handful, three to four of them, uh, who are yet to be vaccinated because of health issues. I'm reporter Kekhrisen Yukehua with camera person Save. Villiers for Hornbill TV.